now that you've crawled through the darkness, do you finally see the light? Mick Foley. Sometimes, but other times I'm just known as mankind. What are you doing here? If there is anyone who understands the journey you're on, it's good old Mick and all his faces. I'm like your fairy godfather. My fairy godfather? You got that right. I've done everything there is to do in WWE. Dude Love was a superstar. Cactus Jack was the most brutal man on earth. And mankind? Mankind ate the sins for all the world. Believe me, I know. You're one of my heroes. Great. I'm here to trip the light fantastic down memory lane and give you the opportunity to try something unique via Mix Special Pixie Dust. Besides, after what you've just been through, I'm guessing you'd like someone around who knows a little something about what you experienced. Doesn't seem like there's too many of us, that's for sure. You were taking souls, but what mankind would take was punishment. I lived for it. The more abuse there was, the stronger I became. How much could you take, Cap? I could take all of it. Then you need to test your limits in the match that made mankind legendary. Hell in a cell. And I've got just the opponent and a little bit of my pixie dust to make it feel extra special. I think that's exactly what I need to put this all behind me. Let's go to hell. Hell in a cell. The most nefarious, unforgiving structure in WWE, and one that transformed my career forever. Your supernatural powers may have been otherworldly, but let's take it down to earth as we find out how you'd fare against the ninth wonder of the world. And if you really want to pay tribute to my foul mankind, You'll know sometimes a fall can push you even higher. Have a nice day.
You're certainly making waves around here. Are you still spooky? <laughs> Not so much. Cool. I actually wanted to talk to you about your work outside of WWE. You've made some waves yourself. I try to keep busy. How do you manage it all? TV shows, movies, red carpet appearances, all on top of being a WWE superstar? You're making it sound much more glamorous than it is. It's a lot of hard work, a lot of hustle that no one ever sees or jobs that lead to dead ends. And with my schedule, I don't always manage it all. You don't? I gotta say no to a lot of stuff. For instance, they wanted to book me on this food web series and I can't do it because I already committed to a movie premiere on the same night. Would they be interested in booking a different WWE superstar? Specifically one who's me? Actually, they probably would. Want me to set it up? It's a pretty small show, so I doubt it'll be your big break by any means, but it could be a good learning experience. Just try not to let it explode like your experience on the bump. If they'll have me, I'll definitely do it. What's the gig? You've heard of Cheese Please, the internet cheese smelling show. It's doing okay on social media. Hope you like smelling things. Big fan of smelling things. Right. Anyway, thanks for taking this off my plate. Makes it easier to suggest you than just saying no. And good luck in your match with Zia Lee that's coming up. Don't go stinking up the joint. And all over the internet because of a cheese smelling show? You're talking about cheese, please. Love that show, and Kat was great on it. Her observations about Gruyere pairings were actually quite astute. Oh, this is cheesy, even for you two. 
Oh my God, how oh. is it Rana? I'd be impressed if I wasn't so horrified for what maneuver I just witnessed. Full well, Nelson, Dragon Suplex. Any one of these attacks could cause irreparable damage, but I don't think you can come back from this many. Zaya gets her back. Stalking a downed opponent in a vicious boot, and another. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Straight hard, placed upon the left knee. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Toss back into the ring. Wind him up. Oh, and a forearm. Stomping. Ouch. Oh, I missed you. I wanted to knee you in the face again. Kick lands. Got a boot in the face. The advantage is turned towards Zia Lee. A smothering offense from Lee here. An elbow will break that up. Now she's looking for some momentum. She's showing it's not a time to lie down. It's a time to fight back. She re-enters the ring now. Uh, she's trying, trying to create space. Bicycle knee strike, ouch. Both wrists captured and that was nasty. Boom, what a kick. And they're gonna end things with a ripcord flatliner. Getting set up for something in the corner. This has been such a back and forth matchup. She looks like she's willing to do anything to end this thing. She may have to. These two have battled back and forth, thrown everything they have at one another. But what on earth is next? Steadily climbing. What could she possibly be thinking? All the way to the top. Avalanche poison Rana. She's starting to tire a little. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. Agility like that is what can set you apart from the rest of the locker room. Brought a knee right to the face. Distress showing on the face of Zia Lee. This is where Zia will be tested. Enough already. Oh my God, moonsault. She could do it here. She overcomes the pinfall attempt. She shows that she's far from finished. And there's a neck breaker. Uh-oh, second rope. Nobody home for that one. How insulting is that? And she's gained total control of this match. Yeah, she hasn't been giving her opponent any reprieve. Fighting their way out of this position will create separation. And that might be the start of the momentum swing Zaya needed. Yeah, Zaya's survival instincts taking over there. Oh, what a counter. Boom, what a kick. A ripcord flatliner, that could do it. She's in a dangerous spot and could lose this. This has just been an absolute massacre. Full well, Nelson, Dragon Suplex. This is not gonna end well. Exploder Suplex. Distress showing on the face of Zia Lee. This is where Zia will be tested. She scores big with the counter. Boom, what impact. The cover. She kicks out with authority. Not a very effective pin attempt. And back elbow creates separation. Close line. Vicious stomp in the bottom turnbuckle. 
Oh. It's all of their body weight down across the neck and oh, double knees. Oof. Working on their arm. Bang! What a punch. Kicked right in the gut. And they're going to end things with a ripcord flatliner. And she is sustaining a real focus above the shoulders. Attacks in that area could leave her up. And here we go. Oh, God. Is that what it takes to beat Zion? Shoulders down. The rope stops the pin. Connects the fist to the face. Great counter. Oh, yeah. She is really getting fired up. Taking this outside. This could be good. Ooh. Finds a counter for Lee. And now she delivers her back into the ring. By the shoulders and a slam. Cover. Two. Picked up the victory. Here is your winner, Lilith the Demon. Zia Lee walking out of here tonight defeated. She fought like a warrior, but Xia Lee just couldn't get it done in the end.